You know it's going to be a wacky show when you walk in and you got a cow head on uh -huh. the table and Carmen. No, that's common. Common, common Miranda. Oh, that's <laughs> the, very, the very common Miranda. <laughs> in the background. We'll actually, we'll show you her true identity a little bit later on. No, wait a minute. I'm going to tell them right now. <laughs> Who is it's it? It's Madonna. <laughs> You well, can, you can tell by the hair under her nose. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to have a fruit dish after a while, in case you were wondering uh -huh. what this is all about. And in fact, we're going to show you a, a little footage right. after a while and about how uh, we went and got it. Bly yeah. is trying out these horns for his new uh, ear trumpet that, <laughs> that he hopes to have, so that he can hear what we're saying a lot better. There we go. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh, it's, it's just wonderful. marvelous. It's grown mm -hmm. horns since I was here the last time. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> that's that's a fine skull that was previously on some animal. I am gonna do a I am gonna do a beef dish after a while, uh, but I believe this one picked clean uh, by the buzzards. <laughs> it's been a while on that one, I can tell you. Well, she does look right lovely, yeah. though. We'll have to admit, I especially I'll am fond you, of the. Our uh, staff is unbelievable. <laughs> yes, here. they've gotten wacky today. All right, no <laughs> doubt about that. And every piece of jewelry that the girls out front own is on uh, well, this I lovely... Well, I want to know who those pop beads belong to. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't seen pop beads in years. Anyway, <laughs> I, I'm especially fond of the... <laughs> oh, anyway, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's an extraordinarily large navel. <laughs> anyway, what no, do you it's got? it's threaded. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, you're right. It goes all the way uh, through. Okay. Well, we've got... Letters uh, from around yeah. the world time, ladies Wendell and gentlemen. Wendell Noble uh, from Roanoke, Virginia, has written and said, I would like the recipe for your Japanese meals. I also think your show is a great one, and I'm enjoying watching it. Hmm. I'm very sorry you took the Cook Sisters off the show. Oh. Just don't take off your show, please. <laughs> so, uh, well, else for that she matter. said she's 13, and but I won't think I'm an adult because of my handwriting and the way I talk with nonverbal communication. She does write real well, mm -hmm. though. Well, writes, writes way a lot to go, Gwendolyn, and, and uh, we'll pass your uh, concerns on to uh, Sis and Toots Cook and let them know. Hey, guys, I watch your show every day that it comes on. <laughs> I, I like that, just that. I love the jokes you tell, and I also like the things you do for other people. Well, you know, we are uh, mm -hmm. always doing things yes. for other people. <laughs> Always free of charge. Like the Roanoke Orchestra and the yearly telethon on Channel 15. <laughs> I hope you come on more days of the week. I like you and your show more than wrestling. <laughs> Signed, Charlotte Abbott of Czech, Virginia. Charlotte. Johnson doesn't like our show better than wrestling. No, I can tell you that for a fact. Choosing between watching this show and or wrestling, wrestling. He watches wrestling every, every time. time. Yeah. Do you right, have now, some comments you'd like to make there? This is a long letter, uh -oh. and I won't read all of it, but it's from Lieutenant Colonel S.M. Evans uh -oh. of Aurora, Colorado. And the colonel wrote in and sent in this direction, Larry, and, and it's something for you. It says, I sometimes watch your show, and he goes on. Uh, when he can stand it, right? He said, I noted the smaller fellow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that you was complaining about the time it was taking him to chop an onion. <laughs> so he has given us very detailed directions, Explicit directions. from uh, that go on for pages here from his former mess sergeant, including the other side, uh, on how to chop this onion uh, using a sabatier <laughs> knife. There you go. Uh, which he says I noticed that you're using, and uh, so uh, a very good, competent diagram there on how to chop an onion. And Larry, I hope perhaps you'll have an opportunity to use that today. Well, I certainly hope so, too. And thank you very much for sending that. We always appreciate any, any comments, uh, good or bad. Dear Larry Laban, just watched your program on Cuban cooking, didn't understand much of it. Well, she was <laughs> probably watching that, that time we ran everything uh -huh. in uh, what, what Italian or whatever it was. I was pleased to note you have finally gotten adequate cooking tools. People seem to be real grateful that we finally have something to cook in. We sir, finally have a, a pot to cook in. Right. <laughs> uh, I surely do miss the Cook Sisters. I especially enjoyed looking at, at the view out their living room window. Here's a really cheap recipe you're welcome to use. And, and they go on, and uh, you could serve, I think it's 52 people for a dollar. No, that's four people for about a dollar total. It's a main course, it's filling, 
and says most men and even some children will eat it. <laughs> it's some good enough for company, right. it says. Made out of uh, peanut butter, bacon grease, and rice. Oh, it's real good. Keep up the good work and blah, 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 blah. You're still Brenda Salyers of Pound, Virginia. Well, Brenda, you're a sweetheart. Larry, don't you reckon we ought, or is you got another letter there? Yeah, we recently moved to the Roanoke area and have only, unfortunately, been able to see a couple of your shows. However, I'd love as many of your recipes as possible. Keep up the good work, and I hope you're on the air for some time to come. Sincerely, Ms. Rhonda. <laughs> I don't know. She, well, Ms. she also does palms, uh -huh. I guess. Uh -huh. Are we going to show... That's Sister uh, Rhonda. You, we're going to do a little fruit dish today. Yes. You are, and yes. I'm going to do a, a beef dish, I believe. And uh, are, are we, you want to show where you got this fresh fruit? Yes, I think we ought from? to. Uh, While I start chopping things, because well, i got a lot gotta, of chopping okay, to do, so and, I'm Well, I, all I have to do is open up some cans. So, uh, yeah, I think we ought to show everybody about our trip to the apple orchard when we went out to, to get some of the fruit that we're going to do in my recipe today, which is curried fruit this with is honey. extraordinary footage. Real fine, uh, and it shows our competency. Yes. To the orchard, and uh, we're walking along. I believe we've spied. Oh, look out. There we I go. believe we've spied oh. a tree. Oh, well, I'm glad I believe I have snared a basket. basket. That's right. And, and then notice, Larry, the what tree. kind of tree is that? It, it's kind of indeterminate at this point. Well, I so it's invisible fruit. We'll find out here in a Let's minute. Let's see. Looks like I'm getting ready to throw oh, it yeah. down to you. This, oh, whoops. Old knucklehead. Oh, my heavens, look at that. <laughs> it, it's a mess. He's, look, he's oh. getting a wobbly leg. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I've seen him that way numerous oh, times. <laughs> Get it out of the orchard. I've seen him so wobbly like oh, that. Oh, terrible. Yeah, that sugar goes up, and boy, I tell you, it's real bad. So anyway, that's a, but the funny thing is, that has nothing to do with today's show, right. because we're not using even the first apple in our that's recipe right. today. But you, what happened was, we went out and got all those apples and got back and discovered that we really weren't going to use apples <laughs> on today's show, so we'll use those some other time. I have, uh, I'm going to do a meatloaf, and I did this yesterday afternoon mm -hmm. and tried some of it yesterday evening, and it, it is real interesting and real good. I don't believe I've ever seen this much stuff go into meatloaf. We start out with one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, and it's best that you put it into a large container because we're going to be mixing an awful lot of other things in with it. And I'm going to start chopping things up. I have to chop up some uh, celery and onion and bell peppers, both red and, and green, and uh, carrots. So I'm going to start chopping on that right now, and it's going to take me a little while to get it all done. So we'll go to Laban. All right. Well, I have half a stick of butter on in a large side. frying pan, mm -hmm. and it's melting now, kind of slowly, because I forgot. Well, let's to... watch it melt for a while. All right. Laban. While the butter melts. And I'm going to add to it a half a cup of honey. What? Honey. Honey. Oh, honey. Good. Honey. And this Wilkins, is, I believe we've gone through this conversation yes. numerous times. But I have to uh, kind of, it, it's put up in this little bear, and I have to <laughs> it's kind a of. squeezy <laughs> bear. Squeezy. This, every, have you noticed all the bears this year? Everybody's got e bears. Every store you go into, they're featuring a bear. Mm hmm they got a little funeral bear down at the funeral parlor and, you know, all of that. Just unbelievable things. Anyway, this half, and you'll be happy to know that this also gets three big teaspoons. That's a tablespoon, incidentally, for you equivalency fans, of curry powder. Oh, no. Yes, Larry loves curry. <sighs> Well, this is going to take. You know, time. I would never believe there could be so incredibly many curry recipes in eight years as I have had to endure on this program. Well, I just think they're real fine. I know you do, but I just don't like the taste of curry. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, I can't help it. I've tried. I really have. I've tried. I'm doing this for my Indian friend Dinesh. Bless it's, you. He likes. Oh, I thought you sneezed. Oh, okay. He likes all these. <laughs> they say this uh, this honey is slow as Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's even slower than All right, that. Well, oh. that's enough. All right, now we've got a half a cup of honey and <laughs> this half a stick of margarine, and now we're going to get down to the the spices. And you need oh to boy, 
<laughs> get in your curry powder. While you can. Now, I'm going to use this half teaspoon measurement. Mm. So, that's one teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And because Larry gets nervous about it, I'll cut it down just a, just a little bit. Yeah, a couple teaspoon. of granules would help. help. Oh, how humiliating. He dropped everything off. And the I will not use those teaspoons oh, I again. Know. I, let me throw them over here because uh, all those cleanliness. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What? Somebody has actually put Comet down in our sink. Well, isn't that a miracle of electronics? Something down there to... Now, this is your sauce for this fine fruit dish. This half a cup of honey, half a stick of butter, and two to three teaspoons of curry powder. And this is a madras curry. You know, there are all different kinds of curries, so you need to watch. It's not just something that comes off a curry bush. This is a blend of fine spices. Mm. Yes, sir. I just want to remind everything, it's uh, everybody, that everything, everything, that some of the How stuff I you call our viewers things. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of them. Oh, uh, <laughs> we have uh, some several things I'm chopping up here right now, and one of them is uh, a little bit of celery, and I just want to remind the people who are, are have never had much experience with celery. I'll take a look at this from up above, real good. This is a real ex prime example of why you should take celery apart and wash it, because there's lots of filth and corruption in there. And you have to do the same thing with your carrots. You know, these carrots I got yesterday uh -huh. from uh, a local store, which will not be named, and uh, <laughs> I mean, this could be any store, yeah. because you got to check it at every one of them, and the produce had mud on these things. That's true. No. So I'm going to go wash these off before I chop them up. Go ahead, Laban. All right. Well, now I've got a large hey, one. someone's put Comet in this sink. <laughs> I've got a large one pound, 13 ounce can of sliced peaches. And I've got a... Sliced what? Dream them. Peaches. Oh. What you said, sliced poochie. I don't know what world well, you were talking I've about. Got a, Dream, as they say in some places. Can you smell that curry oh, coming I up? Oh, I can. Mm. Mm. And, mm -hmm. ooh, well, Lord, all of the fruits you have to drain. I'm trying to think what it smells like. Curry. Smells like India to me. So now, that's a one of those big, giant economy oh. signs. Good <laughs> heavens. <laughs> of, of sliced peaches. I'm chopping up the fibrovascular bundles, even as we speak. Mm -hmm. I'm just chopping them <sighs> up. Celery. It's good for you. You mm -hmm. know, I don't believe I've ever had a meatloaf with celery in it before. Really? I don't believe so. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think I have ever cooked it that way, but surely. Well, don't call me Shirley, sure. but I can tell you that I haven't. I, but you know, I figure by the time you're 15 years of age, you've had meatloaf 47 different ways. So this is 48 for me. I've never had it this way, but I can tell you, it is real good. I did try it. I told you I tried it, didn't I? Mm -hmm. That I liked it. You know, I'm using this, our own personal can opener over here. Doris brought us her fine one from home. But I wanted to see if I could get this one. You know our friend... Wet chickens. That's what it smells uh, like. Uh -huh. Wet chickens. I swear. You know our friend we were talking about a minute ago, Wilkins, you know, he's a fanatic on can opener. Uh -huh. And you know he got that he got digital that one with can a digital opener. clock. <laughs> oh, it. it had a digital <laughs> clock on it and everything went up under the counter. I was over there the other night and he's gotten another can opener. Uh oh, what's you this? You know one they're do? redoing the kitchen. Yeah. What's this one do? This one is a cordless can opener oh, that he right. had to have an electrician come and put the stuff in the cabinet so that it would uh, be right down under there, but a cordless can opener. This is a cordless can opener. That's right. No doubt about it. Now, this is a one pound can of pineapple chunks, and I'm going to drain this and just drain all of these juices down into a bowl. And I'm going to add these pineapple chunks into our curried fruit. Sounds like our furried friends, our curried fruit and mix that all around and then oh lord this doesn't favor nobody as grandma used to say this is a can of pears you've opened a can of pears on this show and they're going to go down into the pan here too after they're drained off a little bit 
you see me? I was almost about to throw the can opener in the trash. I know that's what I did with that other one. That was a one pound can of pears, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pear halves. I think I'll cut those down a little bit because they're right big. You remember at, at your house when you had that meal and that one of your guests was so outdone because they thought they had enough peach halves to go around? Mm -hmm. Now, I wonder what they did with that other half a pear that was, it's funny to get an odd number of pear machine halves machine operator in ate can. it, I'm sure. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No. Okay. I don't need that much time. Okay. <laughs> now. In fact, I'll be out here in about two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, whenever right. you get finished there, I'll, well, I'll be the, on my way. I know you're getting close, so I'm not going to interrupt you. Well, no, I, I will. Uh, oh, here's another half over here that needs to be. Um, I have one other thing to add. Oh, okay. And the recipe is very specific. You have to have 12. Maraschino cherries. Twelve. Twelve. So I will commence counting the cherries. Eleven and a half wouldn't quite right. Uh, wouldn't be. do. It. So mm -hmm. I'll maybe be ten big ones as opposed to twelve no, uh, skinny. We ones. need twelve. Would not. Uh, well, these still have the little things. Oh on. dear. You're going to have to pick every one of those off. No, I'll just throw them in there. No, one, don't do that. Don't two. do that. That's well, rude. Well, you can do it. I'll give you a pair of cherry scissors at the table, and you can. Clip the stems. Oh, how rude. Why are you doing that? Well, it said 12 cherries. <laughs> oh, look, I lose. <laughs> There's a fake one. Here's a stem without a cherry on it. Boy, you never no, know what you're going to get into. Do you think I should? Well, sure. I mean, that's right rude to get one of them up your snout while you're eating this Well, I did worse than that at your house. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I meant to do it. <laughs> did you eat that cherry? Oof. Three. I don't need seven minutes. Four. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. I'm never going to do this dish. Uh, <laughs> Six. Six what? What are you doing? Seven. Seven. Let's all count together. Eight. Eight. <laughs> look. look. Uh oh. No, you can't use that one. That's only a partial one. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Whoops. I stripped again. Ten. Ten. <laughs> oh, Eleven. Now what comes after that, boys and girls? Here we go. Here we go. Twelve. Twelve. Three. This group always now, did like the number twelve. In there? Do you suppose it's some worker mm -hmm. yep. bit the half off of that cherry? You you think this is an unsanitary thing or a bird? you know, plucked it before it went into the, the cherry juice. That's nasty. It really is. Now what do you do with this? Now you just let it cook for 20 minutes. That's it? That's it. You're finished? Uh-huh. Am I going to have a yeah, go ahead. chance to yeah, sure. Why not? do this dish, perhaps? That's the biggest jar of pimentos I ever saw. Where did you get it? It's that? not pimentos. What is it? And I'm going to tell you about that. Pimentos oh. is sweet red peppers. I had a little oh. problem yesterday. In the midst of this thing, I had to run out and couldn't find red peppers anywhere. Oh, no. And you know you can always get red, uh, dried red peppers mm -hmm. or green mm -hmm. peppers yeah. dried. And they had green peppers dried, but didn't have red peppers dried. So I went somewhere else and I got these sweet red peppers. They do look and smell a little like pimentos, but they're not. They're real red peppers, and that's what I had to do to substitute. Oh, no. So I'm going to get me one of those out there. Reach in there. It looks like a, a large tongue. I want to chop one or two of those up. Oh. In addition to, in addition to the, the the green ones, which I was able to find fresh yesterday. But they're slippery little rascals. But you know what a pimento is? A pimento, I guess, is it's nothing a but pepper. a. It's a red that's pepper right. that's been but pickled. But I have never seen them like that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you taste that's this, wonderful. it doesn't taste like a pimento. It looks like one, and it even smells a little bit like one. It does. Don't you think it smells like pimento? Yeah. But it doesn't taste like one. I promise you that. Well, that's but they are right. real slippery. You have to be careful. Now, you don't want to let any fall on the floor or anything because you slip and kill yourself. Now, I have chopped up about a third of a cup of celery, third of a cup of onion, third of a cup of green bell pepper, and just now I diced the red bell pepper. 
and we're going to take all that stuff and we're going to put it in here with one and a half pounds lean ground beef. Boom. And all that stuff goes in there. This has really got a lot of stuff in it. It really does. Goes in there with the beef. You know, maybe we ought to get these recipes up here while well, we're wait a minute. I finishing got to, up. I got to put the stuff. I'm finishing up. I'm just getting started. Well, I thought you had all that time. One egg is going to go in there. <laughs> Beat the egg up a little bit. Throw that in there a little bit. And V8 juice, you need uh, half a cup of V8 juice. Half cup V8. A little bit of water, which I'll put in in a second, I promise. Three quarters cup uncooked oatmeal. Three quarters cup uncooked oatmeal. Boom. That goes in there. A little bit of mustard. I don't have any prepared today, so I'm going to use a little mustard. Uh, what do they call this stuff? <laughs> a little mustard. Mustard. Dry mustard. Put a little bit of that in there. And a little salt and pepper to taste. A little easy on that salt. Don't want to kill Johnson. And, uh, oh, that's right, you don't concern yourself that day. A little mm -hmm. pepper. A little pepper. Remember, no one ever died of too much pepper. I'll put that in there. And then you take one small carrot and you grate it in there. Grate that in there. And then in a couple of minutes it says, with your hands. And by the way, while you're doing this, Lord, it's flying everywhere. Find this stuff down my drawers <laughs> when I get home. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're going to combine all these ingredients using your hands. Bake an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Remove from the oven. Carefully drain off the hot liquids. Let stand for 10 minutes before serving. And they even give us a sauce that can be using a can of condensed chicken, a mushroom soup, and three quarters of a can of milk mixed together and heated until very hot. Now what we're going to do if you don't want to use your hands, and I don't want to, just take a wooden spoon and mix it up. Now, while I'm mixing it up, we'll show you the recipes. And the recipes for the meatloaf is one and a half pounds lean ground beef, half cup V8 juice, quarter cup of water, three quarters cup uncooked oatmeal, one egg beaten, third cup thin sliced celery, third cup diced onion, third cup diced green bell pepper, and red bell pepper, small carrot, grated teaspoon of mustard, salt and pepper to taste, and that's it. Curried fruit has a half stick of margarine half a stick of curry powder, a half a cup of honey, a one one pound 13 ounce can of sliced peaches, a pound can of pineapple chunks, a pound can of pears, and 12 maraschino cherries carefully counted out. And that's the curried fruit. Let's get the witch in here and read the recipe real fast, boys. And Well, I'm getting my meatloaf is already come oh, out of the oven. Wait a minute, the witch is hung up. <laughs> oh, she's all bound up. Somebody get the, oh, the milk of magnesia. All right, let's see. Hey, cookies, I want some cookie recipes, and I mean now, and I want some new ones. I'm tired of the same old chocolate chips. And it's signed, Cookie Cook, your cuz. Oh, oh. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Let's Next try this week, stuff we'll out. we'll have cookies. Try this stuff right. out a little bit here. I mean, well, this has been thanks for using program. my trivet. <laughs> oh, is there one? I'm sorry. Let me go get you something to set that up. <laughs> Let me try the meatloaf real fast. I know it's real good. No, I'll try the fruit first. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, it's so hot. But it's real good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I never thought I'd live to see the day that you got your mouth burned on this show. Mmm, boy, that was good. Boy, <laughs> I'm telling you, we got to go. We really, how's that meatloaf? It's delicious. It really is good. It's good. Thank you very much. <laughs>